this made me remember what FFK said that <clears throat> if he joins APC, make it go take in life. <laughs> but he don't really join APC, he doesn't care. Now he's paid off for him because now all his sins have been forgiven. Just like uh, Loretta Nochetu, she did all she could. At the end of the day, what happened? Uh -huh. They give her one position. Meanwhile, Wiki once said that uh, how can he dump malaria for cancer and insist he cannot leave PDP for APC. But now the same PDP APC is now romancing with them. He has a he has a comfort he's so comfortable with them. All of them are going hand in hand. You know, these people eh? <laughs> I pity the only thing I would say is I pity those who are believing in them. Those who, who don't know how to say oh it is over. Let us even do something else. Let us even scrutinize these people in what they are doing. Where they do good, you you encourage them. But once they begin to they begin to deviate, you should be able to take your stand instead of being loyal to them to a fault. That is where a lot of Nigerians have problem. They don't know when to say no, no, you are not getting it right. Meanwhile, the governor of River State, Ye Sonwiki, has once said and vowed never to follow the band wagon and defeat from the People's Democratic Party, PDP, to the ruling All Progressive Congress, describing such a move as opting to cure himself of malaria only to settle for cancer. Speaking in an interview with BBC Pigeon, Wiki said, though the PDP has its own internal problems in the wake of the various crises that have been rocking the party, they cannot be compared to the issues facing the APC. Ask by the interviewer if he would ever contemplate leaving the PDP for the APC. Wiki reacted in shock and said, leave for where? I present, presently have malaria and it is cancer. Is this cancer I will go and look for? Why are you talking like this? I have malaria that can be treated easily and I will go and look for cancer that will kill me immediately. And meanwhile, it's romancing with them now. Uh, we know say the tea just a, in a small, small, just like a Fanica Yode too. Then he was deceiving Nigerians that oh, he was building bridges across nation. But at the end of the day, he jumped as he jumped like this, say he became wide. And he said, Is the APC a party, a party that has killed Nigerians? No way, I can't leave the PDP for such a party. Any fight we engage in the PDP is inside the PDP, and that is where I will fight. If they like, they injure me, they or I injure them, but I won't ever run away, though I know they cannot injure me. That is where we will fight our fight. But to leave the PDP that has common malaria for the APC that has cancer, no, it can't happen. See, let me tell you, the APC has stage, f stage 4 cancer, and when doctors say you have stage 4 cancer, just tell your God that it has happened as you can never survive. That is what the APC has. So it will be impossible for me to defend to catch their cancer. Answering to a question on whether he is corrupt, is a corrupt politician, he said, I will not say I am corrupt, but I will say, do I am not a perfect now. I like money like every other person. If I don't have money, how will I pay my children's school fees? If I don't have money, how will I pay the bills for my sick mother who is in the hospital? In clear reference to his predecessor and mortal enemy, Ruti Miyamichi, who once claimed in an interview that he does not like money, Wiki added, anyone, especially politician, who says they don't like money are liars. They like money, but we come out to say they don't like money. That is not the issue. Are you corrupt or not? There's nobody that does not like money. So, are you corrupt? That is the question they asked him. He couldn't answer and it was just like, hey, moving from a year to day. So, now, he's coming out in the same, you know, to make Nigerians believe or to make people believe that, hey, oh, you want a southern president. And if you want a, a, a southern president, and you now went for Tinumbu because some people are hailing him now. You know, one, somebody once told me that these politicians, they talk a lot of things. They say a lot of things. And at the end of the day, they forget most of the things they say. 
because they know that Nigeria is a, a, a lawless place. Let me not say useless place. They know that say, the people will not even bother. They will say they can do anything. They forget after one or two, three days. They will forget. So in the process of trying to make Nigerians believe that, oh, he was really fighting Atiku because Atiku did not even do well. And you now went for the cancer, cancerous party that you once rejected that they have stage four that they will soon die. At the end of the day, instead of you to go for Labour Party, he went for this thing and he's trying to come out and justify uh, this and this and that. Ah, the APC people are hailing him. How do you expect him to go to Labour Party? He knows how to play the game. No, you can tell your people this and that, but you coming to suppress people, that is where the problem is. Him supporting the cancerous uh, party is not the issue, but suppressing others who do not believe in that cancerous party to vote for them. Or if they didn't even vote for them, is that's the, where the problem a lot of people are having problem with. So these guys, they are terrible people. They are terrible people. Who is going to change, change the narratives? We have few people who can change the narratives in this country. But unfortunately, they don't want them. And one of them is Peter Obi. And that is why you see that 99% of all Nigerian politicians are against him. <laughs> that's, that's to tell you something. 99% of Nigerian politicians are against Peter Obi because these politicians want the status quo to continue. We were saying the other time that uh, the same week who was telling Amichi that uh, he squandered reverse money to sponsor what is it called to sponsor Buhari in 2015. Now that one is regretting, and you are going the same route. We not get sense. We no get sense. You people cannot even form a formidable party, a, a formidable platform to stand on you have to be digressing and digressing and unfortunately unfortunately the resources is from your side you cannot stand alone because of greed all of them it's just really so painful so painful when you continue to hear nigeria this nigeria's a uh, problem or you talk about or discuss about it it gives headache and you know the worst part of it is that it has no solutions because as some people will be coming out to profile solutions, a lot of people, majority, will be suppressing them down. So there's no solution in the recent. You know, like I said one time that if you have a problem and you know that, okay, you are working towards solving this problem, you know that, okay, you know, with time, everything will be okay. But this one, huh, the more you look, the less you see. Oh, the more you look, the less you see. They've scattered everything. No hope anyway. People are just resorting to God now. And the same people who are who are devilish are the ones that will be calling God. It's so ridiculous. So guys, let's know what you think about this.